Hello, welcome to Bikini Design Club. Hi everyone, today we will be making the Alice bottom pattern. This is a size S and we are going to use a different method today. We are sewing in four layers, so we are not going to sandwich uh, our bottom piece. So uh, keep up with the video until the end so you find out uh, this easier way to sew your bottom piece. So let's start by cutting our fabric. We are going to use the fold line to cut both the back and the front for the cell fabric and for the lining. So now we have our bottom pieces for the back and for the front. I will use um, the white as the cell fabric and the pink as the lining, lining fabric. Uh, now we are going to place them right sides facing together, in this case it's more or less the same, but okay, back with back and front with front. I'm going to pin and we are going to sew everywhere except the sides and the crotch. So I decided to use my straight stitch machine, of course with an elastic stitch, I used the zigzag stitch to make the entire uh, top part of my bottom. I used this, I did this method for the front and also for the back. Only then I moved to my serger to do the, the legs uh, using the serger. I also reinforced the V area with a straight stitch. I now have my front and my back piece. We sewed all around except the sides and the crotch area. Uh, and now since I want to make the V-shape very perfect, I am going to trim slightly uh, in this area and in this area. And as you can see and you saw me doing it, I went to the straight stitch machine and I did a v the V-shape here. I reinforced the shape. Uh, it was easier for me to sew with a zigzag stitch on my uh, top uh, seam. Uh, it's easier for me, I like it because this area on the overlock it's very hard to, 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 to make and it's very hard to be perfect as I'm able to do it here. So I rather do this like this. So now I'm going to trim this uh, very carefully and very uh, tight because um, once this will be on the correct side, you will see that this fabric is very uh, hard. Uh, all the imperfections can be seen once this is done. So I know this in advance because I've tried before this fabric. In other fabrics this is not no noticeable, so it's fine, but in this fabric all the imperfections will be noticed once on the correct side. So let's trim uh, the V-shape in the front and also in the back. So now that I've trimmed without cutting the threads, I also have to trim this area, this V-shape area. So let's try to do our best. I know this will not be perfect. In this fabric it's almost impossible to make a V-shape um, with a perfect finish, but let's try to do our best. So. While sewing, I gave some tension on my elastic on the, on the leg sides. So, as you can see, so once this is on the correct side, it will not lay flat on my table, but I'm sure that it will be perfect once it's on your body. Now we can place our front piece. We turn the front piece around to the correct side, to the outside. And then right sides facing together, we are going to place the front part inside the back part. And we are going to align the sides and the crotch area, sewing four layers uh, every, every, uh, on uh, sides and also on the crotch area. So 
So to make sure that my seams are aligned, I hand stitch every single seam from the crotch area and from the sides. Uh, I only use these methods uh, when my sides are um, not high enough. So for two cent three centimeters, I use the four layer method. But if I have a side like in the Porto bottom or in the Milan bottom that I have a side with uh, some height, in that case I don't use this method. So if you uh, want to see the other method, you can uh, go uh, and see the, the tutorial on Porto or uh, Milan pattern. So now I'm going to sew, sew this in place because I want to make sure that my seams are aligned once uh, this is sewn. This is optional, maybe you want to give it a try without doing this hand stitch, but um, normally I know that it's not perfect if I don't do this, and even so, sometimes it's not perfect, but I prefer to do this um, because in, in, with this uh, hand stitch, I know that at least it's going to be uh, better that, than if I didn't do it. So I rather do this for the for all the seams. So now that the sides are ready and the crotch is ready, I'm gonna go ahead uh, to my straight stitch machine and I'm gonna tell you why I use my straight stitch machine in this case. First, because I want to make sure that um, this is not bulky, because I want to trim. Uh, secondly, because it's much more accurate and um, I will make sure to do my edges uh, way more perfect than if I use my overlock. To reverse our piece, we will need to make a small hole on our uh, back area. So instead of doing the hole directly, I'm going to reinforce uh, with a straight stitch on both sides of the hole to make sure that my threads will not unfold once uh, I'm going to cut them. So I'm going to just reinforce a little bit on both sides so that then we will, can, uh, we will be able to cut the hole. So now let's trim all the threads that we don't need and the excess fabric on both sides. Let's cut the small hole and uh, unfold to the correct side and see the results. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, keep uh, looking until the end so you can see the final results. Bye!